What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with more Vampire Diaries. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 21. Let's go! Craziness has ensued in Mystic Falls. What do you mean you're ditching my cleanup committee? Klaus called. He's leaving town and wants me to pack up his house. Well, since when does sire bond equal mover slave? Since you realize you're not going to dump me for him. He's being petty. Mover he still slave. To him. It's fine. Then it will all be over soon. I'm late. I gotta go. I love you. I love you too. Oh shit. Hello. Where's Matt? He bailed. He got called into work at the last minute. Are you kidding me? So it's just us? Yes, and you're late. It's like 8.02. Exactly. I managed to turn up on time and I didn't even get to attend the dance that I organized. Well, I'm surprised you're even helping clean. Fuck I'm that. I'm sorry about your mom. I mean, I know you hated her and everything. But still, I'm sorry. Sorry about your teacher. Seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, he was. I'm gonna get started on the gym. You're supposed to be dead. I am. <laughs> Shit. That's terrifying. My God. A little darker, huh? It's the only color we had. That's what happens when you decide to paint your dead guardian's room in the middle of the night. I don't suppose anyone tried to talk you guys out of doing this so soon. We have to keep moving. We don't want to think. You want a hand? So are you two, like, back together or something? No, Jared. We're just... I, I was just checking up on you guys, seeing how you were doing after, uh, after everything. We're fine. But if you are trying to be the good guy again, why don't you do the right thing and give just one day without any vampires in it? Damn. He didn't mean that. Yeah, he did. I'll get that. We have a problem. Polaris Holtzman just tried to kill me. And he's a vampire thanks to Mother's spell with a white oak stake that can't kill him. He's strong, Nick. Where is he now? He's stuck at the school without a daylight ring, but as soon as night falls, he'll come after us. We need to leave now. This is craziness. I'll collect Elena. We'll be on our way. Craziness. Forget Elena. You don't need any more stupid hybrids. We'll protect each other like we always have. That's questionable. Always and forever, Nick. I'm not leaving without her. I'm leaving now. You can either walk out that door with me or you are on your own. Ah. Uh. Fine. Trust your hybrids over your family. Move it, sire boy. What's her deal? Sire boy? What do you mean he turned? I thought you were standing guard. Don't blame me. Blame Bonnie the blood bank. Fed him. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, Bonnie the witches the led me there. Bank. They wanted him to feed, so he turned. So where's the stake now? The one that can kill an original and wipe out an entire line of vampires? We don't know. Why did you feed me your blood to save my life? Because I do stupid things, Bonnie. Like let my friend die with dignity when I should have just killed him. All right, so how do we kill him now? A witch can't truly make an immortal creature. There's always a way to undo a spell. What's the witchy work around? I don't know. Whoever this is, it's not funny. Well, who else would it be? Rick? Listen closely. I'm at the school. I have Caroline. And if you want to keep her alive, come down here right away. If you tell anyone where you are going, I will kill her. Damn it, Rick. I cried over you, bro. And now you're being a butthole. What the hell do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a guest? Young Jeremy here could show some manners and invite me inside. Why'd you go up to your room? Now. Uh Poor lad. Loses one questionable father figure only to be replaced by the likes of the two of you. Yeah, about that. Oh, I know all about my mother's invulnerable little creation. That's why I'm here. Need to pick up a few road trip necessities. Spare tire, flashlight, doppelganger. Can't help you there. Elena! She already left, didn't she? Fucking A, bro. Damn it. Where is she? I don't know. She was just here a few minutes ago. Where is she? She's not here. Where did she go? What's going on? Klaus wants in. We have to keep him out. Rude. You gonna pay for that? Right on time. Caroline. Let her go, Alaric. Free her yourself. You said that you would let her go. Stop trusting vampires. But 
think you're probably gonna want to let me in. Well, then this car's gone. Why wouldn't she tell anyone where she was going? Get down! Miss me! Miss me again! Clark. Jeez! Put it out. Come outside and make me. Plane is not here. Laura has her and Caroline. He's gonna kill them both unless you turn yourself over to him. He just goes. Oh, I know you're not asking me to walk into a certain. Collects bed. things around the neighborhood to fuck I the really house up could. with. I but love it. There's a one in four chance that we die too, and a hundred percent chance that Tyler dies. Good with that too. Why don't we just figure out a way to put a lark down? How about Damon sneaks in and distracts Alaric while Stefan grabs Lena and carries her to safety? What's to stop me from getting killed instantly? Nothing. <laughs> Caroline's in there, don't you have a thing for her? Or did she oh. just reject it too many times? I might have an idea. Hot. I have an My idea that you're hot. My mom used a desiccation hot. spell on Michael hot. that immobilized Super him hot. for over 15 years. If I can get it, I might be able to use it on a lark. If and might. I'll get it. But even with the spell, we'll need a lot of vampire muscle to take him down. Including yours. Just so we're clear, sun sets in about eight hours. If we don't succeed before then, Elena will be dead. And the rest of you will be left to fend for yourselves. No, no. Such a douche, no. but he's so likable. Lars, stop. Sit down. This keeps the vervain in her system. Why are you doing this? Make it easier on you when you put her out of her misery. They're always terrorizing what? Caroline. No. The fuck? Her dad need to did teach it. You how to kill a vampire. Lars well, doing it. Vampire. Rude. Kill her. This isn't what I want. Of course it is. All those hours you spent training getting stronger, but you've never actually staked a vampire through the heart. So you're asking her to do it to her friend, bro? That's fucked up. Wow, this is promising. Relax. I forgot about her stellar track record in the dependability department. Jamie said she was coming, okay? Just give her time. Don't get your hopes up. Might be a Girl Scout. Uh. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. Thanks for coming. Jamie's word about you. He said it was urgent. I just didn't think you'd ever want to see me again. Like Jamie said. Surgeon. Abby just showed up. Good. Perhaps this plan won't be an epic failure after all. You know, if this does go off and we drop the history teacher in the Atlantic, I'm still leaving with Elena. Yeah, whatever. I'll you go say. with you. Really? What's the catch? It's no catch. I turn my back on everything here to make sure Elena's safe. And that is what makes you her better option. It's a shame it's not easier for Elena to see that. I mean, personally, I think she's wasting her time with Damon. You know, all this time and energy you've spent trying to get me and my brother to hate each other. It's actually had the opposite effect. Well, then perhaps I should let Elena decide which Salvatore joins us. Go for it. Damon and I have been through a hell of a lot worse than you. Why didn't I have to be invited in? Just Only saying. vampires live here. We could sign over the deed to Elena. She died. And the seal broke. And it's a very long story. Blood? Oh, come on. Think of it as a peace offering. No? Okay. Fine. Do it yourself. We called you here because I need help with a spell. Esther created a vampire that can't be killed. I want to desiccate him like you did to Michael. It's too dangerous. Your magic comes from the earth. It's pure. This spell asks you to tap into dark places, places you can't handle. Oh. You turned your back on me for 16 years. You have no idea what I can handle. Gotta say I'm team Bonnie on this one. How hard can it be to parch a vampire? The spell allows you to stop a vampire's heart. The blood will stop flowing and his body will desiccate. To stop a vampire's heart, you need to find a balance among the living. Can you handle that? What does that mean? Bonnie, I don't speak witch. I have to stop a human heart. Jeremy's? I just got this. Connects me to Caroline and Elena through our phones. They're in a Lark's classroom. Very cool AT&T slash Samsung advertisement. You've already bit it once, possibly twice, wearing that thing. And if for some reason Bonnie can't restart your heart and you do indeed die, we have another psycho alter ego case in our hands, which is bad to give me a ring. This is my ring. Elena's my sister. No one's going to fight harder for her than me. Be stubborn. Try not to kill him, will you? Drink this. It's my blood. It bridges us all together so that when I stop Jeremy's heart, I need to make a physical connection to his bloodstream, a vein, something connected to his heart. If one of us gets a clean shot, take it. The other two hold him down. Before we all walk through these doors, let's get on the same page. I was the one who created your vampire bloodline, therefore I am responsible for your lives. Or you're just lying to save your ass. I'm not lying. But go ahead, call my bluff. Let the teacher kill me. You'll all be dead soon thereafter. Let's just get this over with, shall we? I Why am are you doing having this? Having so much anxiety. Because you need me. 
Your parents led the council. It was their life's mission to keep this town safe. They weren't dead six months before you undid it all. Do you actually think that they'd be proud of you? If you don't side with the humans, you're just as bad as them. Now kill her. He? Or I'll do it for you. I can't believe I cried over you, bro. I thought I'd taught you better than that. He did. <laughs> Damn right, motherfucker. Motherfucker. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. You're safe. Well safe, Elena. You go straight home. You stay inside. You understand? Thank you. I should kill you. I should gut you like Brian Walters. You're the worst offender of them all, Elena. You don't deserve to live. So then why am I still alive? There's obviously no humanity left in you. So what's stopping you, Alaric? If you want me dead, then kill me. Do it! Kill me! Bro. Do it! I made contact. It's happening. Hokoros Mikante. Aleoros. Wrong. Something happened. The connection broke. Stop! Let yeah. him go, or I'll kill myself. Put it down, Elena. Why? Because you still need me alive. There's a reason why Esther used me to make you, isn't there? She didn't want you to be immortal, so she tied your life to a human one, mine. That way, you have only one lifespan to kill all vampires, and then you'll be gone. So when I die, you die too. That's it. It has to be. You're wrong. Am I? Stop! 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 Oh my god. This damn shot will go get me a damn heart attack. Oh, be careful. Moving only makes it hurt more. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing? Grinding you of all your blood. Elena? Tyler, help me. You can't. He needs to go fetch me more empty blood bags. About three liters worth, please, Tyler. Tyler, please. Get seven. No, Tyler, get the bags. Forget the girl and get the bags. So that's it. You're just gonna bleed me dry. Yes, but don't worry. It'll be completely painless. As the last drop is drawn, you'll simply fall asleep. Oh. 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 Why am I still alive? Get up. Oh my god. I said get up. Klaus is gonna kill Elena. What are you talking about? Klaus needs Elena's blood to make hybrids. She's the last person that he'd kill. The witch bound my life to Elena's. If she dies, I die. Klaus figured that out and now he's taking her. Now I'm trapped here until the sun goes down. Oh shit. What about your hybrid? You'll need more than this to create your army. These last few leeches will have to suffice. You see? By attempting to kill us, my mother strengthened the bond between my siblings and I. I don't need hybrids. I have my family. You want a backup family? You know that your siblings will never trust you again. You know, Stefan blames me for trying to tear him from his brother. But I think we both know who really came between them. You? That's why you won't choose. You know, once you pick a Salvatore, you'll destroy their bond. Consider this me doing you a favor. You won't have to choose. No broken hearts. Their family stays intact. But just between us girls. Uh. Who would you have picked? Rotten hell. You're welcome. Sweet dreams, Elena. That's been fun. Draining her of her blood. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> oh. Shit. So much for that sire bond. I'm not your little bitch anymore. Oh, yes, Tyler. How did you break the sire bond? By breaking every bone in my body a hundred times for the girl I love. Real love is stronger than fake loyalty. But what would you know about that? You know, you should be thanking me. I gave you a gift. I took away your misery. You didn't give a crap about me. You just didn't want to be alone. And he's not your little bitch anymore. So how about that? Goodbye, Tyler. Heliodos, 
Substitox. Ono Saltire. Dice Brav. Gordos Micante. Gordos Micante. Creepy. That's creepy as fuck. Anduka, to us, Animos. Oh my God, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy! Oh, oh shit. We should get her home before the sun sets. Bye bye, Klaus. It was nice snowing ya. It's been fun. You two are really gonna walk me all the way to the door, aren't you? Well, it's a lot of blood today. I have a little headache. Yeah, but the sun's about to go down and Rick's gonna be able to terrorize the streets any minute. Yeah, but he can't hurt me. It's you two that we should be worrying about. Won't be able to find us. I'll, uh, I'll call you when we get back. What about all the holes in the house and the doors that were blown off and all that shit? Did someone fix that? Four hours? I know that it seems like I'm stringing you both along, but I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, if I choose one of you, then I lose the other. And I've lost so many people, I just, I can't bear the thought of losing one of you. It's, uh, it's been a long day. No, we'll call you from the road. After we dump Klaus's body in the Atlantic. Just be careful, both of you. It ain't gonna be that easy. Some shit's about to go down. Like it always does. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Welcome to our victory party! What victory? We failed. The lark's still out there. But we've been trying to get rid of Klaus forever. Caroline convinced us to enjoy it for a night. I'm a little pissed. None of you let me help you take down original brother number two. Here you wish. Here. You need this. You know that sooner or later, you're going to have to choose, right? I know. But I'm going to keep pushing it off until hey, the very last yeah. moment. Thank you for standing up to Klaus like that. Let's just say it's been a long time. Bitch coming. anymore, bitch. Way too long. All right, let's drink. I do not condone this, by the way. Make an exception. You could go back to being responsible tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Do you guys hear that? That is the sound of a Klaus free life. <laughs> <laughs> to a Klaus free life. They keep and playing. They you. keep saying that a little My too family. much now. Yeah. Klaus is coming back. What's so urgent? You called an emergency council meeting at this hour. I didn't call the meeting, Liz. He did. I was just telling the council about our vampire problem. Or should I say your problem? Perhaps you and the mayor can enlighten the group on the strides you've taken to eliminate the issue. You haven't. You see, the sheriff has a vampire for a daughter. And our lovely mayor, a son who is half vampire, half werewolf. Why are you doing this? These women are hypocrites. We're done here. It's time to go. Sit down, Liz. We're just getting started. Oh, shit. What? How many desiccated hybrids does it take to screw in a light bulb? You're in a good mood. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Klaus is dead. My brother's halfway sane. Again. Give or take an immortal hunter that wants to kill us. We won. Seth. I ain't that easy. Say it. We won. Once more feeling. We won. Not yet, bitches. Turns out we make a pretty good team. Something's about to happen. No, it took a century and a half. What happens Best when uh, Elena makes a decision? You know how these things pan out, Stefan? We make a list of pros and cons, and at the end of the day, dump both of our asses. Well, if she doesn't, then she'll pick one of us. Well, if she chooses you, I'll leave town and let you two be happy and not be bothered by me. And in 60 years, we'll go back to being brothers, and none of this will have mattered. Yeah. Fine. She chooses you, I'll leave town too. No! All this over one girl. She's a pretty special girl. Yes, she is. What the fuck? Everyone gone? It's just us. I hate this room. Me too. <laughs> Mom and Dad were right. The Lark should just kill all the vampires and put an end to all of this. But then that means that Caroline dies. And Bonnie loses her mom. The mayor loses her son. And I lose Stefan and Damon. So if it makes me the bad guy for wanting to keep those people alive, then fine. 
I'll be the bad guy. You forget that Alaric never wanted any of this. Once he carries out his plans, what if he decides he doesn't want to live anymore? And he kills his human connection to end his life? That would mean I would lose you. I'm not gonna let that happen. I love Jeremy. <laughs> I'm gonna shower and get some sleep. Hey, good night, Elena. Good night. Y'all are are painting this room in a weird order. What the fuck? What the hell does that mean? That means somebody killed a lark at the at the at the at the Lockwood's house because they're bound or whatever. This show is so crazy. I can't handle it. How's it gonna end? How's this season gonna end? Cause you all know that they always they fuck with you on that last episode. They like everything blows up and it's just like oh, shit's hitting the fan. Have fun. It's crazy. Now you gotta wait four more months for the show to come back. Hey. <laughs> I love it. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode and I'll see you on the next one. Season finale. Bye.